Hi there, my name is Renata, and for those who doesn't know me, I'm a yoga teacher here in New York. We have decided to create this mini Dharma talk video so we can connect this way, perhaps creating a mini community here online. So to start our journey together, I'd like to ask you, how do you show up for yourself when no one's looking? Yeah, how do you show up for yourself when there is no peer pressure to perform? We live in such a world that perhaps there is such a pressure for us to be the best that we can be. Could be in your family life, could be in your social events, could be at your work environment, could be even at yoga practice. You know, as you show up in the studio, maybe there is a peer pressure to be the best yogi you can be. But how do you show up for yourself when no one, no one's looking? There is a name for this in Sanskrit, and the name is sadhana. Sadhana means your daily spiritual practice. Notice that I say daily, not just once a week when you go to your yoga practice. But sadhana does not have to be an hour and a half physical practice. It could be because the body has this such a wisdom and when we allow ourselves to flow and to be united with this body, there is a, a parts of ourselves that show up that perhaps we're not in touch with. So that's valid. But Sadhana does not necessarily needs to be an hour and a half vigorous yoga practice. It could be a meditation practice and that does not have to be 20 minutes either. It could be just like a touch of a heart with an intention to connect with the energy that's already resonating inside of you anyway. So that's what sadhana is, is the willingness when we give ourselves permission to connect with our purpose with this beautiful life force that animates everything we do here in life. So how do you show up for yourself? It could be a brewing of a tea. Think about this. It could be a brewing of a tea with an intention of nourishing your body and as you pour, you pour in a very kind and loving way. So sadhana is actually a practice of loving kindness to yourself. And when you allow yourself to feel, to be grateful for this lifetime, for this body, to be grateful and understanding this energy that lives within you, you turn your eyes to the world and what you see is the same what, we, what you cultivate. You see people in a different eyes. You see people with the same respect, with the same regard as you see yourself. So your sadhana practice is very important for you to first of all find out who you are and what your purpose here in life is. But that creates a ripple effect where when you look out into the world, you kind of mirror this energy and you can see everybody as so, as, as living beauty, as, as friends, as community, as opportunity to share. So your sadhana practice is important for yourself, but ultimately creates this, what we call yoga, the ability to yoke, to come together as one. So hopefully this was helpful. And this is just number one of our series. If you have any comments, anything to add at all, please don't forget to add below and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you so much. Namaste. Have a wonderful, blessed day.